every year we have a dedicated summit to the life sciences space and i heard about a new girl that arrived a scientific background phd like me and i thought oh i think we, we need to speak definitely I joined Kelly back in uh, September of last year um, as the Scientific Domain Intelligence Director. It was always a, uh, a focus of mine when I joined Kelly to really put in place a robust education program. I think though um, it really took off after uh, Emmanuel reached out to me um, for the European Life Sciences Week. After the, the summit, the strategy for international was clear, we needed to be a market maker and that kind of resonate with the strategy in, uh, in SETT for the science and clinical uh, business. And so we sent out a pretty robust education survey and as a result of that survey uh, we were really um, uh, thrilled to see that there was there were a lot of um, SMEs within the broader Kelly universe. We have PhDs, engineers, uh, former lab technicians, uh, people that used to work directly within the, the, the science business and be a part of this business. So they do have the knowledge and they do speak the same language as our talents and as our customers. We very thoughtfully sort of hand-picked uh, 10 teams that had a mixture of functions, so sales and recruiting. It had a mixture of international and US it had a mixture of SME experts, but importantly, non-SME experts. And those are, that's really important because that kept everybody honest and say, OK, how do we use this scientific knowledge, this content knowledge and apply it to our day job so that it will drive the business forward? It'll help us have a more elevated conversation with our clients and with our talent. It will help us do our jobs better and help us achieve our vision, our overall vision uh, of becoming that premier uh, destination for specialty talent and clients. We started everything from scratch and in three months uh, it was basically ready to go so it happened so fast and you know we were two at the beginning uh, and then uh, we created a, an implementation team, a content development team and all of a sudden we were like 40 people all together working for this initiative. It was crazy and it went so fast and now um, maybe from an outside point of view you might think oh it's smooth it's planned but we are always like ah! <laughs> how people actually access the training is we have a list of about 350 uh, attendees and people are assigned the training and they're either assigned the training as mandatory or they're assigned the training as optional and then they'll receive the invitation from the klc and people will select the session that they wish to attend. Everything is built internally by our colleagues uh, from international and from SCTT. And they are consultants, they are recruiters, they are uh, sales people. Uh, they would have never met if this initiative was not going on. And this is one of the feedback that we got from them, that they are really grateful to have the opportunity to meet their colleagues. Everybody is doing this uh, in addition to their day job. And so this is, this, is, this is above and beyond. I would have never uh, imagined that so many people would be interested to join us. I, I would have never expected such a, an enthusiasm from so many people around. For anybody who is you know, maybe in a similar situation, who sees a need, don't be afraid to just go for it and say, hey, let's try this. Uh, the worst that can happen is it doesn't work out. Okay, well then try something else.